This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 11 of Build Your Own R2D2 from Fan Home. Uh, now, in this issue, we've got lots and lots of screws, apparently none of which we're actually going to be using. So I shall keep those in the packets, but I shall put them safely away until probably next time. Uh, we also receive one more part of the dome framework and a post. Now, this post is not used in the actual R2 build, if I remember correctly. Um, but we'll come to that momentarily. Uh, first of all, I've got some screws out from last time, for, you know, from previously for the use in this issue. But first of all, we'll have a look through the issue and see what we've got. Um, visual effects part two, continuing from last time. I don't remember from last time, but I'm sure it was there. So yes, that's that. Uh, lots of stuff working on R2. He spoke right off the bat. Uh, he, he didn't speak. Who spoke what? I don't know. Anyway, uh, main characters became the robots, which is a wonderful idea. It's very George, apparently, but yeah. Uh, RA7 Protocol Series. It's basically, it's, it's 3PO body with an insectoid type head. So uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, extra page there. I didn't turn over. Let's have a look in there. I was still talking about that. 4A2R. It just got random names. Oh, look, he's got an extra thing. 3B6. RA7. He's got an extra name. There we go. That was the one that was in the uh, sample, I think, by the looks of it. Uh, right. Um, so Death Star droids, yeah, but much the same again. And AI, uh, understanding robotics, talking about artificial intelligence. Quite interesting and very, very cool and a little bit scary. But there we go. Right. Now we have the build itself. I shall arrange the um, instruction manual out of the way. Let me just turn my copy holder around so I can put it up there. Uh, so we've got the dome frame. I don't like it. I still disagree with the way they've done this in it's fixing screws, three of them. Fixing screws, fixing screws, fixing nuts, fixing nuts, fixing screws. It doesn't help at all. It just says use them. Um, here it actually says uh, use two more of the silver screws and nuts you used to fit the earlier frames. Not the ones you're supplying now, which we're just going to refer back to as fixing screws and nuts, obviously, at some point. So, yeah, not terribly helpful for me. Um, the dome support rod uh, is being used in a couple of issues time to basically hold the dome. It, you were just using it to hold it onto a stand so we can work on it and turn it around without potentially damaging any other things. So it's quite useful, but I don't think it's part of the actual build. It might be. I can't remember. Do recall something about getting another one, but it might be me misremembering. Uh, so the build this issue, we are putting this. Uh, where are we putting this? We're putting this onto the right hand side of here, uh, as exactly the same as we've done with the previous one. We've got two little pins that stick out there that go into the two little locating holes, and it's held in place with two little nuts, uh, two right up in the middle there because obviously we've used the other ones for the other things. Uh, so we need two nuts and two screws, hence the nuts and screws I have prepared earlier. Uh, I shall just put one in initially. No, I won't. I'll just drop it down near it. Get that in there. It'll only go one way round because it's obviously a, a nut-shaped hole. I can't put that one in, apparently. Let's try it one more time. Uh, actually, we won't do that. We'll put it in the other way around because it goes onto the bottom here. <laughs> That's why it won't fit in there. I thought that was a little bit long way to put it. So that one goes into there. Uh, this side. Make sure you get it the right way around because I've turned it over. So it's the opposites now. I've dropped it. I'm just... <sighs> Calm down. Relax. Think it through. So we'll put that in there. We'll hold that in place with a finger. 
that finger I think will be better. We'll turn it over, we'll remember which side it is that we're putting it in. We'll drop the screw in there. And we'll drop the screwdriver as well. It really isn't my build at the moment. This issue is apparently not working very well for me. Uh, we'll tighten that up through there. Not fully tight, just tight enough for now to hold it in place. We shall put the other nut in the other hole. Like that, we'll put the other screw in the other hole like that as well. And then, once we know that that's located where it should be, we can tighten it down and tighten down that one. So that is the completed assembly so far. Uh, that's that's that so far. Um, and that's it for this issue. So yeah, nice quick one. I like it when they're nice and easy. So that was that. Uh, I shall see you soon for the next issue and then we'll continue the build from there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. <laughs>